Hi guys, this is Dylan Asio. I'm making this video as a response to uh, Alex Moody19. I think that's the that's how to uh, say his uh, username. Alex has asked me to help those who are new in programming to set uh, the environment variable. As that was one of the steps I provided on my solution on the era open SSL is not recognized as the internal or external command on the Travis uh, Facebook SDK uh, tutorial number two. So what we're going to do first is to go into the link that I provided here, uh, the HTTP code Google slash P slash open SSL for Windows. So we go to our browser and type that link there, and then we're going to get on this page. Uh, what, uh, after getting on this page, what we're going to do, we're going to look at on, on the left hand side, so we have two links for download. So we have one for those who are running uh, Windows 32-bit and those who are running Windows 64-bit. I have Windows 7 64-bit, so I'm, I'm going to choose this one. You should know which uh, what version of Windows you have. If you're not sure, because I know if, you, if you're here, you might be uh, new to uh, programming or maybe you don't know how to look at your system, um, what uh, type of system you have. What you do, you I will ask you to go to your window menu and then on computers, you just right click there and then you go to properties. On the properties, you should have this a window uh, like this one. So what you're going to do, you're going to look for the system type. The system type will tell you like on mine, I have 64-bit operating system on this machine uh, where I'm recording this video. So. I will. Uh, this is how you're going to do. So you choose what type of uh, operating system uh, of system that you have. Then you download the file. After downloading the file, you have to have it on on a location that you will remember, so that later on you set it on your environment variable. So what I did, I saved it on my disk C, my exit file. So I know this uh, location. After that, I will just come, I will select this file that I've downloaded and then I will right click on it and then extract all. I'll have something like this and then click extract. It's going to extract the file and then I will be left with a folder like this. So I can delete this uh, zip, dot zip file because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to delete it. Then open the, the folder. So as you see, the folder will have other subfolder and another file with the .cnf extension. But uh, what we need here is to go to the bin. Just make sure you open this bin folder. As you see, we have a file called OpenSSL. This is good. So, but what we're going to do now, we're going to need the path. Where is this? Uh, the path where to find this? open exist so that when we run the code by Travis uh, window will automatically know but we have to tell window how to find this file so what we're going to do we're going to set this path as an environment variable so that window knows this file exists and on this location then we're not going to have the problem we had on uh, uh, previously saying that this command is not um, it's not an internal or external command so what we're going to do now we going to go again into the start menu and then uh, my computer we're going to right click and then go to properties so after um, getting this window what we're going to see if you are on windows 7 it should be like this but if you are on, on window xp i can't exactly remember but i think you can find information on the internet but if you just go to your my computer icon and right click on property you should get something like this but it should be a bit uh, similar to this the, this window might not look uh, exactly this way on window xp but you can find the instruction on the internet so after getting into this uh, window what we're going to go we're going to do uh, what are we going to do we're going to go to the advanced setting uh, system setting so we click there one time we're going to have this window so and this window looked exactly the same on window xp uh, on this window, we're going to see at the bottom, uh, first before looking at the, this, bu uh, this button, you might have be uh, have the start tab. I will just uh, advise you to go to the third tab, that's the advanced tab, and then go to the environment variable uh, button. So click on that environment variable button, 
you should have something like this coming. Um, as you can see, this window has uh, two, uh, two sections. So uh, we're going to be interested on this uh, system variable uh, section. So on the system variable section, we're going to look at uh, we're going to look for the path. As you see here, we have two sections: we have variable and we have value. So if you look at the variable name, we should have something like this, like path. So what I will ask you to do after finding uh, that path, I will ask you guys to click on the edit button. So after clicking on the edit button, you should have this. Um, window coming so on on this window what i will ask you to do is to go back um, as you can see there my zoom is just going crazy so we're going to go back to uh, the location uh, where we installed our open ssl as you can see there we're going to copy that location we're going to copy it and then we're going to use it on the other window uh, on the other window as you can see here, yeah, uh, just make sure to not change anything here. Yeah? We're going to go on at the end of this line. So make sure you don't change anything. You go up to the end of the line. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to type a semicolon. After a semicolon, you should paste the uh, that location name. Just make sure you don't change anything here yeah, because... Uh, you will just mess up your system. So after doing that, you can gladly click on the OK button. I want to click on OK because I don't need to really set up this thing. It's already set up on my machine. So you click on OK, you're going to click on OK again. I will just consult because I don't need to do it twice. So after doing that, you should be fine with uh, following the, the, the instruction from Travis. So you should be able to go on and... Uh, have your um, key command work but what I, one one thing else i will tell you if you have like the command prop or the dos windows open after setting up this uh, environment variable i will i will advise you to close them and then reopen an, a new uh, uh, black screen or a command prompt because if you keep your your old command prompt the window might still not know that you have set the environment variable so just reopen the uh, close those old command prompt windows the black windows and then you should be fine this was the lanation i hope it wasn't too long to explain how to fix this issue if you still have problem please uh, post on um, on the travis uh, video uh, we will try to help you and uh, if other guys has another idea as well we it, they will try to help you so I hope you enjoyed watching this and enjoy your Facebook development with Travis. Okay, bye.